Hey guys, it's Firefly Curie, and we are back with another episode of The Walking Dead. Now we are going to start episode two of the game. I hope you guys enjoy, because I know I will. <sighs> Let's go. Damn, what'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me. I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night, I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Won't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. According to Lily, you've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny, Kenny won't, won't abandon us. us. He's a good man. He won't abandon uh, us. I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He thinks I'm a danger to the group, and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I would be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. Yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Walker's not worth it. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Oh god. I hope it's not Kenny. No, 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 no. Anyone but Kenny. Run, run. Run, bitches, run. We gotta find the person. Run. Run! Run. Uh, nope. This way. Hurry. Oh, it's a couple... Some kids. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know. Guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We've got to help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Gotta get him out of there. Oh god, thank you. Fine, but All you right, gotta come hurry. on. 
We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry and help. Hurry, please, hurry! Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Mm. Oh no. Walkers. Shit, walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Please! Don't just leave him like this! Stop, stop, Lee, stop! Lee, do something! Please! Oh, God. Oh, I could chop his leg off. I have to cut you out. Try to no, no, you. no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! What to chop off his leg? It has to be now. Chop off his leg. Damn it, Lee just cut off his fucking leg. We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have it. He passed out. We gotta get him going. Grab him and let's go. We gotta go now. Behind you, Travis. Come on, come on. We gotta move. <laughs> Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh, man. Hmm. Lovely. Wasn't that lovely, folks? Starve for help. Look, it's Clementine. The gate's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! God. Oh god! What happened? Oh god! Who's hell that? Are these Don't have time to explain! Lee, Shit! Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat! Okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you wanna calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, your I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Come on, Lily, these are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Oh, um, man. No? Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. 
Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. Guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Damn. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Oh, man. Four items for ten people. Alright, so the question is, who do we... Of course, we gotta give Clem. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> if you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? Oh. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Let's uh, talk to... Let's talk to Kenny. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. All right. Okay, so we can't go that way. We gave the kids food. I feel like... How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Let's go hey, to is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. He'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. Dang. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Dang. Let's go talk to 
Lily. Keep an eye out. Fine. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Here, eat something. You got your apple. Wow, thanks a lot. That's that's awesome. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm Dang. sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Oh, man. I don't know who to give the last food to. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. Here. I don't want anything from you. Fine. Bitch. I'm sorry, but let's check let's check on Doug. Hey Doug. <clears throat> ah. What's up, Lee? What are you working on, Doug? I've worked up a little warning system for outside. How does it work? I set up trip lines at four locations, and each one triggers one of these four bells. So... So we'll know where they are and how long we have. Smart. Think Katja can save that guy? Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. <laughs> but you probably could fix a calculator. Well, yeah. Good point. Take it easy, Doug. You too, Lee. Let's go check on Katja. Is he going to be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. All right, gotcha. Who do we give the last piece of food to? Uh, did we give it to Kenny? 
Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Yeah! Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. <sighs> Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Hmm. Ah, we gotta save Katja, we gotta save Katja, we gotta save Katja. Oh, wait, what? We are glitched. I got him. No, go away, go away. Oops. All right, guess we're gonna have to redo that sequence. Uh, go away. Go away. Leave me alone. What? But it didn't give me any more actions. Get out of the damn way. It didn't give me any more actions. Go away. I got him. Kick his head. Kick his head. Run, 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 run. Come on, go, 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 go. There we go. Alright. Ah, oh, shit. Asshole! Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Oh, man. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. What? You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all in 
infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' oh, room the next morning. Man. And... God. Here comes Duh. people. It works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so. But they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No. We have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy oh, farm a few man. miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what do y'all think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. All right. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't hmm. completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. It probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. Getting dangerous out there. <laughs> well, you guys know. Well, yeah. we'd love to get you, you ain't all gonna... out nope, nope, there. Nope. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running a dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shut me down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fuck you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it all for yourself. What should we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Dang. Oh, 
here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Man. And I think on that note, I'll see you guys next time. Remember, be good, stay safe, but always have fun. Bye, guys.